and welcome to this episode of IDIS Technology Bytes. In this episode, we will review video search and playback in an IDIS NVR. The search functions are accessed by clicking on the play arrow button in the control menu and then choosing time lapse search, event log search, or thumbnail search. First, we will cover time lapse search. The top control menu changes slightly, but still contains some elements from the Live View menu. Layouts and Groups function as before, and change the current layout or cycle the camera groups. The Data Source button allows you to playback video from hard disk drives that were previously recorded on another IDIS NVR. This is useful if an NVR is damaged, but the hard disk still functions. The number of cameras displayed will depend on the current layout and the corresponding timelines will appear at the bottom of the display. A scroll bar can be used to see hidden timelines or all timelines may be displayed. The light blue color in the timeline depicts time-lapse recording and the purple marks depict events. A yellow color would represent pre-event recording, while red and green colors represent panic recording and irregular recording, respectively. Irregular recording means that the recording session buffer has been activated and there is a potential network issue. Check the camera network cable and connections. The default timeline covers approximately 12 hours, but can be extended to 38 hours by clicking on the minus sign. Bookmarks may be created, which will store the current camera layout as well as the timeline position. To create a bookmark, simply click on the plus button. The simplest method of searching for specific recorded video is to click anywhere in the timeline. This will move the red marker position and depict the relevant time. The timeline can be dragged by clicking and dragging the timeline window. Clicking on the play button will start playback of all displayed cameras starting at the depicted time. The fast forward button will increase the play speed in four preset increments. There are two step forward or backward buttons. Select to either step through video in one second increments or step through frame by frame. The jog shuttle control allows an easier method to control the speed of forward or backward jogging. The slow play option allows playback speed to be reduced up to one-eighth of normal speed. To play back video outside of the current timeline, a calendar search may be performed by clicking the required date on the calendar or using the Go To button and selecting the date and time. Text in search may be performed when integrating with systems that can generate ASCII text information, such as POS systems and searching for specific transaction events. Please see the POS sections in the operation manual for details. An offline motion search may be performed on one camera at a time. In the option menu, select the time range for the search and define the motion area if required. The NVR will scan through the recorded video and search for motion events within the defined motion area. This function is especially useful if the selected camera did not have motion detection defined during recording. To export a video clip from the NVR, 
Use the Clip Copy button to engage the export functions. Define the start and end time and select which cameras to include in the export file. Select the destination for the export file, which can be either a FAT32 USB memory stick or an FTP site if one is configured. Name the file and click Start to begin the export. The second search option is the Event Log Search. This will list all events in the history log and display the associated recorded video. Select the time range for your search. The event list can be filtered by camera and event type. Select the relevant event type and check all desired cameras. Once you have defined all event filters, click on any event to view the recorded video. A clip copy button allows exporting of the current video file. The third search option is the thumbnail search. Thumbnail search allows the user to generate timestamp thumbnails of a camera recorded video in order to search for a specific event. First, select the relevant camera and date. This will display thumbnail images starting with one or more days. Selecting the image with the required day will then display one thumbnail image for every hour of the selected day. Selecting the thumbnail image of the required hour will then display thumbnail images for every minute of the selected hour and so on. At any time, you may select the play control button to play through the current time frame of the recorded video. A clip copy button is also available here for easy exporting of the selected video. That's all for this topic. Thank you for watching. Please see our other videos for more information on IDIS products.